Bahubali, the beginning is the first part of the two-part series. The second part, of course, being Bahubali, the conclusion, starring Prabhas as Shiva. His father, King Amrendra Bahubali, is also played by Prabhas. The story takes a turn when Shiva runs into a group which wishes to go against King Bhalala Deva of Mahishpati, played by Rana Dagubati, and rescuing Devasana, played by Anushka Shetty. Also in this band is Avantika, played by Tamanna, who he falls in love with. Now, Avantika explains to him that he needs to protect Devasana. However, at this point, he does not know who Devasana actually is. Enter Shiva, who slowly starts winning the hearts of the people of the whole city which Rana Dagubati is ruling over. For what happens next, of course, you need to see the movie. To say that the movie is a visual treat would be a gross understatement. Director S.S. Rajamuli wouldn't have been wrong if he would have renamed this film as Epic because that is exactly what this film is. The battle scenes are gripping and are definitely the strong point of the film. Prabhas as the hero does full justice to the role, while India's very own Hulk, Rana, comes across as one of the most oppressive villains that you might have seen on screen. The female characters in Bahubali, Shivgami and Devasana have solid meaningful roles. Ramya Krishnan and Satyaraj come across as a rock-solid supporting cast displaying commendable acting skills. Special mention, of course, must be made of the fact that Rajamuli has not made this film in 3D, a complete slap to the faces of most of the films coming out nowadays in 3D, which frankly speaking, serve more as a hindrance to enjoying the experience instead of doing justice to the whole format of 3D. Finally, we're going to go with 4.5 stars for this magnum opus, which is truly an experience in itself.